it was uh, September eighth, nineteen hundred was yeah, the 1900. great the great storm of nineteen hundred. Yes. Wow. It killed over uh, six thousand people. Wow. Uh, including the surrounding areas of over six thousand people. So okay. it's you know, let's just say twelve thousand in the surrounding areas in all sorts. And that's not the only reason why this place is haunted. It, this place is uh, has it seen, was the biggest, one of the biggest slave it ports. It was the, uh, that, well, yeah. Yeah. And also it had murders and suicide and fires. Uh, All kind of tragedy happened in Galveston. Oh, yes. A whole bunch. Yeah. A whole bunch. And that is the reason why this place is haunted. Well, talk, talk about that a little bit. The storm of 1900, if you can. i tell you what. Uh, okay. Let's start with knowing that... <sighs> At that time, we were getting, we were getting the weather from Cuba, at the time, okay. and, and and what was going on, and, uh, and this is very important. What I'm going to tell you because it pisses me off a lot. Um, uh, in the 1900s, we were getting our weather from Cuba, and one of the government officials said, "No, we're not getting any more information from them. We don't need their information." Blah blah blah. And all of a sudden, the storm started coming in, and it was three in the morning. Huge, huge, sixteen-foot storm surge happened. Yeah. Right there, covering the entire, the entire island. island. The entire island. The only thing you could see, the uh, they had electric lights back then, you know, but the only thing you could see was the lighthouse wow. over on Bolivar Island, and people were floating and trying to survive and all this stuff. Just imagine that, 15 feet of water <laughs> over covering the whole island. Yeah, yeah and no. there was actually, back then, there was uh, underground, wasn't there an underground, um, like basically Hotel Gavas, there was nuns that were protecting children, and there was a bunch of them captured under there? <sighs> yeah, the big, the big thing with that story is that, unfortunately, the nuns wanted to tie the children together during the great storm so they wouldn't lose wow. them. But on the opposite side of the spectrum, if one goes, they all go. Yeah. Right. And so after the storm, the uh, one of the survivors would grab a piece of line and pull up the line and found a child, another child, another child. And from that story, uh, they say it was on the grounds where the Walmart is now. Wow, oh, wow, that was a question I had for you. Yeah, yeah, and, and about Walmart being haunted. Everybody knows this. In the toy section yeah. of Walmart, they always have problems with the toys being moved around and stuff like that. And they keep, they just have a mess every once in a while. But that, it's okay, it's okay. But yes, it was a, a very horrific, horrific storm. I can only imagine. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's, I mean, because we got a little. A little taste of yeah with uh, Katrina and the other other storms that happened since then, but nothing on that scale. Right, right. Well, that's, that's like the worst uh, natural disaster in U.S. history. That's right? that's what they say. And yeah. and Galveston, Galveston was the Wall Street of the Southwest uh, back yeah. then. Okay, I mean Galveston had the first electric lights in Texas, the first oh, post wow. office. The first school for nurses, the first anything. It was booming back then. Uh. Um, and so this was a thriving, thriving immigrant, you know, uh, city. And it was beautiful. And this great storm just destroyed all of that. And I'm going to tell you what happened. Mm -hmm. What do you do with 6,000 bodies on the island? Uh... Did, did they bury them in the sand? I think I heard something like that. that well, first of all, they had first of all they had to go around and gather the bodies. Gather the bodies. And yeah. so the authorities went around with rifles and whiskey, with carriages, and they went to a survivor and said, "Are, are you ready to help us gather these bodies?" If you said no, they would turn you around, shoot you in the back, and go to the next person. Damn, Here's that would whiskey. make more bodies. Wow, wow. They they job workers. You had to do it. You had wow. to get into it. And so they gathered these bodies and they put them on barges and they sent them out to sea, about 20 miles out to sea. Oh, wow. And they waited their feet, said a prayer, put them into wow, the water. Wow, so that's all intertwined in the sand and, and so everything there. They came back to the island trying to figure out what they're going to do with their lives. 
And then three days later, guess what happened? The bodies returned. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thousands of bodies on the beaches. Oh, Thousands shit. of bodies. Wow. Now what do you do with them? Well, they decided to burn them. Well, you can't burn them now because they're waterlogged. Wow. So they went downtown to the Strand District and found buildings that were cold storage buildings. And they said, this is now a makeshift morgue. We're taking over. And so they took these bodies, they squished the water out of them, laid sulfur on top of them, and prepared them for funeral pyres. Or wow. funeral pyres. I, I feel sorry for the, guy that, the guys that had to do that job. Mm-hmm. <sighs> And so what they did, they had piles of bodies everywhere burning all over the island. All over. One of the biggest piles is on 25th and Strand, which lasted over a month, if you could imagine wow. the stench and all that. I'm it surprised there's no terrific. movies I, I made about this. just thinking about it. I know. Just thinking about no, it. No, you have no idea how I'm pissed off I am because I remember Warner Brothers had a, a good script for making a great storm movie, mm-hmm. you know, and it just didn't happen. And uh, but it, and that was like ten years ago, but uh, but anyway, after they burned these bodies all over the place, um, then they raised the island. They raised it up because of the hurricane, and so they raised over 2,100 buildings and wow. they filled the bottom with sand up to 15 feet high. Wow, it's amazing. And it's, I understand that's why, like, when you go to uh, what's the the cemetery there? Yes. Yeah, the, the, the how old you, city how you cemetery. see the little curves coming out of the ground, but actually that's a whole mausoleum. Yes, you only and you're see only like seeing the top of it, two feet of the mausoleum, and it's actually was built up a whole mausoleum underground. Absolutely, and and the story to that is that if you if you can contact those people and uh, have them raise it up, they would do it. If not, sorry, you're buried over. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. And so some people are buried six feet down, some people eight feet down, yeah. and things like that. But that can you incredible. imagine, this is where the ghostly things come in. Um, what if you were buried just right on the strand and nobody cared and nobody thought about you? Yeah. And so you're walking down the strand during Mardi Gras, drinking, having a great time. Uh, I was doing a tour and I was talking to a guy in construction. He said he was doing some construction down on the strand and found a mass grave and they had to stop and continue with something else.